One day, she called the three little pigs to come and said, "My children, I feel that I am getting old and weak, and that I shall not live long. You need to go off to build your own houses." Why don't we live here? I like the mud here," Parley asked. Parlo and Park also felt confused. "You are big enough to live in your own house. Our house will be given to a new family of pigs. Now, Parley, what kind of a house would you like to have?" The mother pig said. A house of mud," answered Parley. There was an eager look in his eyes. After all, he loved best to play with mud. And you, Parlo," said the mother pig. Her voice sounded sad because she was worried about Parley's choice. A house of cabbage. Answered Parlo, his mouth was full of food, and he didn't even think about it. Foolish, foolish child," said the mother pig. She looked quite depressed. And you, Park, the mother pig was turning to her youngest son, and asked hopefully, "What kind of a house do you like?" A house of brick, please, mother," answered Park. However, the other two little pigs were laughing at his answer. A brick house? It's uncomfortable to lie in," said Parley. "And it can't be eaten," added Parlo. "But." It will be warm in winter and cool in summer and safe all the year round," Park said to them. The mother pig looked at Park softly and said, "What a clever little pig! Okay, my children, follow your heart in building your own house. I will help you as much as I can. What's more, a piece of advice." I have told all of you about the fox. He is our old enemy. When he hears that I am not here, he is sure to try and catch you, bring you to his den, and to eat you at any time. He is very good at pretending. You must promise me not to let him enter your houses any way. The three little pigs promised hurriedly. They all had a great fear of the fox, because they had heard many terrible stories about him.